So infrastructure can be impacted uh, either directly or indirectly from uh, volcanic processes. Um, the main issue that we'll see is, is ash, as ash is dispersed downwind, uh, and that ash will settle on top of everything in, in the region downwind. So when it's deposited onto electrical equipment uh, and it becomes a little bit wet, it becomes extremely electrically conductive. So if we have sort of light misty rain when the ash is being deposited, it can lead to uh, short circuits or flashovers on uh, our electrical infrastructure and that can lead to um, our electricity supplies being disrupted. So if we, are, if we improve the resilience, uh, it's much easier to manage the consequences of an eruption. There's much less disruption, people can remain in place and that we can actually get through the eruptive or, or the unrest period uh, as best we can and that's the goal. The, the preparation for any type of volcanic event uh, needs to happen before. Uh, than eruption. Uh, and this is around readiness, and this is about building resilience.